Hi everyone, it's Andrew Kramer with Great Expectations Realty, and today I am joined with Phyllis and Herb Silverman, and they are going to tell you a little bit about the services they provide. So why don't you go ahead and tell everyone who you are and what you do and how it's going to help them. Well, thank you for the introduction. <laughs> uh, as Andrea said, I'm Phyllis Silverman. I'm the founder and president of the Senior Resource Foundation of Ocala. And our goal is to positively and continually improve the mental, physical, and social well being of seniors in our community. And to that end, we have a number of programs that we're involved with aimed at involving seniors in life and having them come out, enjoy themselves, and participate. That is a fantastic goal. Thank you. Yep. Herb. And of course, uh, my name is Herb Silverman. I'm in charge of the marketing and uh, social media. And we have several different projects that are very, very exciting. Uh, we've been here for, uh, this is our second year. Uh, we are a 501c3, so we do fundraising as well. But I think that uh, what we're trying to do is engage, enrich, and uh, hopefully have some fun in what we're going to do for the 55 and older community. That's right. And um, we have a number of projects I'd like to tell you about. Please, absolutely. These are really exciting. Um, one of the projects is going to be um, involving, I would say, volunteer patient advocates. We're hoping to work with our local hospital and uh, when older folks who live here and perhaps don't have family in the area and are in the hospital and there are, there are a lot of things that are somewhat confusing in the medical field and how, how to work your way through it can be difficult when you're not feeling well. So we are going to have people trained who will be able to help them find their way through the, uh, the jungle of, of medical terminology and uh, let them know where they can go to find services and how to go about it. Yeah, now that's, uh, that's something that I've seen, um, you know, normally it's a family member, a very close family right. member that does that, but right. a lot of times people don't have family. Exactly that's right. A lot of people move down here and have no one. And yeah. it's very frightening as an older person to be uh, caught up in a system that you really don't understand and right. can't work your way now, through. Right. Unfortunately, we are not a medical field, as a matter of fact. We're not an assisted living facility, we're not a nursing home. But at the same time, like Phyllis just mentioned, I think that it's very, very important, especially in the beginning, to understand that, you know, there are eight to two people that will be very helpful in the future. Right, and having that education and training for for these people that are um, coming in to assist. I mean, normally, I mean that's really good training anyway. Because normally, is. as a family member, you have no idea that's what right. you're doing either, that's but right. you just want to. You have that strong desire to advocate and for your family that's member. Right. Yeah. So just that desire to help somebody is mm -hmm. is key. Because of course, we have so many people in the medical profession, and of course went into the medical profession to help, mm -hmm. but they're overwhelmed right they now. They are That's overwhelmed. The medical, <laughs> the medical yeah. profession and the field of medicine has changed considerably right. over the years. Right. So yes, we definitely will have a very uh, intense training for these folks. We will okay. not just send them out there. <laughs> so, um, another project that we're starting, is it's called Seniors at Work. Okay. Um, I believe, as do many people, that senior citizens make wonderful employees. Yes. We are loyal, we are on time, we have been trained in the past, <laughs> and um, we will show up, which is half the battle. <laughs> yes, say, right? truthfully, um, yes. <laughs> so we are starting this program, Seniors at Work. Mm -hmm. It would be part-time employment. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people who retire and, and they're retiring earlier and earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, within two or three years, things get a little dull. And if you've worked <laughs> your true. whole life yes. and you're you're playing cornhole, maybe that, that last <laughs> bean bag you throw is, just, is the end. That's, that's well, the straw that broke the camel's back right. there. And, <laughs> and you want to get out there and, and be part of life again. Right. Or on the other hand, today with the inflation at seven and a half percent, people 
another couple of hundred dollars a week will be extremely welcome. Yeah, if nobody's so, noticed, um, the minimum wage has gone up considerably, the inflation mm -hmm. has gone up considerably, right. mm -hmm. Social Security, not so much. We haven't yes. caught up. Um, yes. We have not caught up. Yeah. So those are the two rationales behind this uh, employment, and um, we're going to start um, doing a marketing campaign about our seniors at work. That's fantastic. Uh, another project that we have is, um, this one would require a grant. Okay. And what we're going to do is offer uh, tablets like iPads to seniors who live in a low cost housing. And we're going to have a training at the Senior Services of Marion, Count of Marion Senior Services um, in order for people to be able to connect because mm -hmm. Today, if you're not on the internet, you miss out on a lot. Really, I mean, that's a lot of the reason, you know, we do so many videos and pictures of our kids mm -hmm. is, you know, for their grandparents that only get to see them a few, and especially recently mm -hmm. with, you know, the pandemic, they haven't really been able to travel much. Right. So, right. you know, it's, it's really huge that they're able to still they can part see of it. the pic they can talk to them oh um, yeah FaceTime I, absolutely I decided on tablets because they're more user friendly you can right. use your finger you can right. use your voice you don't have to use a mouse right. and get all you know complicated <laughs> right. right so um, and also you can talk to your doctor now online mm -hmm. you can order your medication you can order your food True. I mean it's just Groceries. A necessity right. in life yes. to be connected these days. Yes, I recently, um, and I won't tell my mother-in-law's age because she, while she probably won't watch this, she definitely would string me. So um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll say she's in her 80s. Okay. So yeah, my um, my mother-in-law uh, was actually trying to purchase something online. Right. And um, actually, she wanted to go bed shopping. That's not true. She did not even consider online. <laughs> um, she wanted me to go shopping with her for a bed, and she was really kind of dreading it. We were all kind of going, okay, because, you know, you have to go to multiple stores, mm -hmm. and you have to, you know, test them, test them <laughs> out and all of this stuff. And I was like... So I went over there to pick her up and we were going to go out and do this. And I was like, well, have you looked on the different prices online? Because she kept saying that, you know, she really just needed a padding. Right. And I was like, well, let's just buy padding. Right. And she goes, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, let me share with you the joys of Amazon. Right. <laughs> um, we, in a few quick clicks, she actually found, I think, over 10,000 different kinds of bedding, wow. different sizes, different styles. We sat there for maybe 15, 20 minutes in the comfort of our own home. Right. Right. And not only did she purchase the bedding and it shipped right to her in two days, right. um, but she also was quite thrilled to go shopping for everything else that she had been needing. <laughs> Once you discover right. Amazon. Yes. Yeah, so she is, um, she's very happy about that, but she was also telling me about you know the struggle she has, even going to the grocery stores stuff sure, right, um, sure. so I was also showing her how to shop at walmart.com right. um, because I have very little time that's what I use well, I use right. walmart they deliver her picks right. the groceries off for me and <laughs> right. it's wonderful yeah it is but you know unless you know that Right. People don't understand the power of the internet until they're exposed to it, and then it opens up a new world. It literally. is. It really did. So, and and what brought this to my mind was during the pandemic, um, where the place that I live had um, them come in to do the in, um, vaccinations, mm -hmm. and a good friend of mine was totally unaware because the only way they sent word out was by email. Oh no! And fortunately, I was speaking with her, and I said, "Are you going to?" have the, the the vaccination she said what are you talking about and that that right. kind of snowballed in my mind right. and i said people need to be on right. the internet and, it's urgent and, and also i think training is also very important mm -hmm. and that's also what we're going to do yeah. as well again so that way we're big on training we, Good. we don't right. send people yeah. off into the wilderness without right. having and, some and basic and understanding and it's not going to just be one time and one time only because right. we understand but this is a brand new experience. Oh, yeah. You scary. Can, it's scary. There's no way that you can sit there and explain the joys of Pandora, <laughs> right. um, Spotify, Netflix, right. Walmart, right. Amazon, all in one it's go. It's overwhelming. It is. Well, it it's is way overwhelming. too overwhelming. But, you know, but those are things that are really amazing and very low cost. And, and so convenient. And it comes right to your door. It I know. It's absolutely I know. fantastic. So, I mean, just... 
just Netflix alone being able to see, you know, without commercials, all of the their favorite shows from, you know, maybe the 50s or right. the 40s right. or right. movies. And, you know, that's it's, amazing. It is amazing. So I'm hoping that uh, we will be able to get the grant and proceed with this. So <laughs> I hope that's, so, too. You know, fingers crossed. Um, another project that will be starting... Because you have so much free time at this point, right? I do. <laughs> yeah, I work a 40-hour week. Oh, uh, my goodness. Well, yeah, I mean, actually, I'm, probably 30. We well, do. We put about 30 hours well, a week and, into I'm, this book. And we're all volunteers. I mean, yeah. There is wow. No, yeah. So. But the, the new one, uh, which is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, is an intergenerational program. Really? Mm -hmm. um, I will be speaking to a group of students at the college to find out if they're as interested in me as I am in them, right. so to speak. <laughs> I, I feel that there's a lot of uh, misinformation mm -hmm. that uh, people in their 20s have about people my age. And we have a lot of misconceptions about people in their 20s. Right. And right. I think if we all sit down maybe once a month over a cup of coffee, we're going to find out that we really can agree on a lot of things. Absolutely. So I'm hoping that when I go there to, to present to them, that they'll feel the same way about it and we can get something started with now, that. Have you considered any of the high schools with their, um, because you are a 5013C, yes. um, you, you're able to do volunteer hours. And mm -hmm. I know uh, for a lot of them, it's mandatory to graduate yes, if they have to do certain it is. Of volunteer it is. hours. So we're going to be calling on them probably for our fundraisers, uh, which Herb is going to talk about our mm -hmm. fundraisers. That's that's separate from our okay, project. Yeah. I, and <laughs> I will tell you that the fundraisers uh, are for other people. We do not fundraise for ourselves. Um, so he'll explain that. We, okay. we you know. <laughs> not to put you on the spot at all. But no, no, he knows it. He knows it cool. <laughs> and then we have our quick reference guide. Now, this is how we got involved, right. because right. you right. actually brought that to our office, and right. I saw it, and I thought, well, wow, this is something that we really need here. Well, and we, we um, It has been together. so well received. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I sent out press releases, and people have been calling us. Yesterday, someone came from another um, over 55 community and picked up 100 books, mm -hmm. and everybody is like this is wonderful because there's no advertising it's clean it's easy to read you can just get the numbers that you're looking for and uh we're very grateful to our sponsor for doing this for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. And if if you want one of these books, please just contact our office and we will be happy to mail it out to you free of charge. Mm -hmm. I will definitely do that. Um, that's, you know, any kind of reference guides or informational type things that people um, need, I would be more than happy. In fact, I'm that's going great. to be including those with anyone that is uh, requesting information about a 55 plus community. That will be in there as well. That's so that's just go ahead and contact our office. And I'll get that for you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you. I, I, we, we can always do a reprint. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Might need more of those. Yes. Right. <laughs> we got a pretty healthy stack back there right now, so right. you should be right. good. So. And, and now to kind of complete the picture right. after our, our projects and the things we want to do for seniors. Um, and I'm not afraid to admit my age. I'm 84. Well, you look fantastic. Thank you. Before. And I feel fantastic. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's, a what, that's even better. <laughs> and working 30 hours a week keeps my brain involved and it keeps, right. it, it's, it's good. Okay. It's good to be out there. It's good to be involved in life. I always say people retire, some retire from life. Yes. Don't do that. I've seen Don't that. do that. Well, you could retire, but you have to be involved and you have to be part of what's going on in this world of ours. Absolutely. Right. So yeah. that's our goal. Yes. It's not age. It's attitude. <laughs> Absolutely. I 100% agree with that. So. so, Herb, you want to talk about the fundraisers briefly? Sure. That's <laughs> okay, fine. what kind of fundraisers well, do you guys have well, Unfortunately, besides all of the things that we're talking about uh, as far as projects, and actually there are more as well, which is amazing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, so definitely, by the way, go to our website at uh, www.srfofocala.org for all the information as well. I'll put that in the description below so you guys Great. can just comment okay. on Very that. good, but we have two fundraisers. Now one we did last year that was a hoot. It, okay. was, it was called Bark in the Park, a oh, doggy expo. Yes, and, oh, yes. I'm and, familiar uh, with that. I didn't realize right. that it was That was us. Right. That okay, was us. got that's it. Right. That was a huge, huge hit. It, it was, was a hit. I mean, if you love your dog, 
that's exactly. And who doesn't love their dog? Oh yeah, right? of course. Right. So we were downtown O'Callum. We had uh, almost uh, 25 booths. We had wow. about uh, five uh, vendors, uh, for food vendors. Mm -hmm. We had the police department for the canine unit. Oh, and wow. it was all about dogs. So, uh, that poor is Joy, awesome. And most of all, like uh, Phyllis just mentioned, uh, all of the profits or all the proceeds went, uh, we split it in half. Uh, we raised $6,000. Wow. Uh, Three thousand dollars to the local Meals on Wheels, oh, and wow. three thousand dollars to the animal shelter of Marion County. That's fantastic. So we're going to do that again. It's going to be October sixteenth. Oh, uh, so okay. by all means, please you plan to come. Uh, right. The other project uh, that we're just beginning, and this is going to take a while because, like I said, we're all volunteers. Mm -hmm. But this will be terrific because this is going to call. It's going to be called Excellent Adventure. An expo for senior adults. No, uh, senior, active seniors. Active, active seniors. seniors. Active. So, okay. So, yes. And, okay. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the idea on that is most of the people, and especially the 55 and older community, when they think they think about healthcare, mm -hmm. you know, like grip strength and blood pressure and things like that, we're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be doing is things like bungee jumping, uh, golf, tennis, skydiving. Right, uh, things, scuba diving. Right, uh, uh, lessons about uh, you know dance lessons, things like that. What? And, and I think that <laughs> is going to be terrific. But it's for the. I mean, everyone can be included, but it's especially for the fifty-five and older community. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be a blast. I think so, that's wonderful. Yeah. So that's going to be next March. Okay. Uh, so, but like I so said, not this March coming up. Wait, no, next right. March, March twenty twenty three. Okay. At but, the college, at the oh, Klein Center, okay. and um, we're. I mean, we're. We have a year, and you need a year to yeah. prepare really for something do. like yes. that. Right. We currently have an, a a sponsor who is going to be the overarching sponsor, but we won't mention that yet. Right. But we're very fortunate that we have that. That's right. And, and um, th this time around, it's going to be all of the profits or all the proceeds right. will go to the Boys and Girls Club. Really? Yep. Yes. Yep. Wow. So that's okay. also what we're doing as well. Uh, then we take a breath, <laughs> and then we go on. Well, of course we go on. Yeah, yes, because we unfortunately do. we are very, very blessed, and we're very, very proud about what we're trying to do uh, for the Senior Resource Foundation of O'Connell, because I think more and more people are interested in what is happening, yep. and uh, fortunately it is growing uh, very quickly. Yeah, we've had wonderful acceptance here in Ocala. Uh, there are very few, if any, other agencies doing what we're doing, really, uh, other than uh, senior services. And we work closely with them um, cooperatively. But um, we're all about getting people out and getting them active and involved. And I guarantee there will be people who want to take these jumping out of airplane lessons. <laughs> and there were, you there know, were, honestly, I can actually see that because, you know, I would love to do some of that that type of thing, but my husband told me I'm not allowed to do anything extreme until the kids are all over 18. <laughs> well, great, except okay. what am I, you know, I'm supposed to wait until I'm in my 50s. Well, I mean, think about him, George so. Bush. You remember he jumped out of an airplane when mm -hmm. he was 90-something? Yes, I mean, absolutely. Why yeah. not? There are people who are very adventurous. You will not find me doing that. <laughs> But, okay, but some but dance lessons. Dance lessons, lessons. yeah. Right. Yeah, do keep that. your feet on the ground. Right. Okay, absolutely. But I guarantee you there will be people I'm taking sure. advantage yeah. of this. I'm and, sure. um, you know, we'll also have sporting goods stores and, and people who sell all the equipment. Mm -hmm. And um, we have room for 65 booths. So if anybody's interested, give us a call and we'll sign them up. Yep. Absolutely. The that's booths wonderful. are going to be $150. Oh, well, that's not bad at reasonable. all. Reasonable. Very Absolutely. reasonable. Yeah. Absolutely. So if you are interested in getting a booth for our next year's event, definitely contact the Silvermans so that you can get in on the action. Right. Yep. And there will be action. There will be action. <laughs> okay. Yes. So yes. That's well, exciting. <laughs> I think when you're ever you're around us, there's some sort of action going on. Yes. Yeah, okay, yes. got All it. the time, 24 hours a day. Okay. <laughs> yes. And well, thank you so much for coming well, in. Thank I you. really do well, appreciate it. Thank you. And I appreciate everything that you're doing for the seniors in our community. I think it's okay. it's a huge, huge thing that you're doing, and um, I just want people to know about it. Well, I, I appreciate that. Well, and, I appreciate and that. And also, thank you for what you're doing. Yeah, um, this is fun. You know, I mean, <laughs> just tell us when we can it. see it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we'll make sure that you're we, the first we to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
you guys have a great day and thanks Thank for you. watching. Thank you. Uh, take care. Bye. Bye.